Hi, I'm Julia Haller. I'm the ophthalmologist in chief at the Wills Eye Institute. And I wanted to update you today on the results of an exciting clinical trial that were just published in this month's ophthalmology. The April issue of the Journal Ophthalmology discusses the results of an interim study, uh, the interim results from the International Trial of Second Sight's Visual Prosthesis. This is the prosthesis, you'll remember, that involves a camera mounted on glasses, which takes a picture, and then the picture is transmitted via electrical wiring to a retinal implant on the surface of the macula. This device has been implanted now in 30 patients. They've been followed for a minimum of six months. And in this trial, we see that these patients who were completely blind before the surgery uh, were able to function visually. The best visual acuity was 20 12, 60. They performed better on visual grading tests, on motion discrimination, and could see shapes. So very literally, these patients who were blind uh, were able to see. Very exciting results from Second Sight. This is a trial that we were part of here at Wills. Uh, doctors Alan Ho and Carl Regillo were the surgeons on our patients here. We're very excited to be part of this important clinical work. The device is now on the market in Europe and is continuing to go through the FDA process here in the United States. So we're on hold in the U.S. in terms of our access to the, to the Argus implant, uh, but it is available in Europe. The interim results of the Argus II retinal implant project from Second Sight, yet another example of the exciting research going on here at the Wills Eye Hospital.